As it turns out, me going to Brick Fair, Virginia was just the inspiration I needed to finish my Avengers Tower. For a very long time, I constantly showed people images of what I started as the Avengers Tower base. And I just, I never had any motivation to work on it. Well, here it is, guys. And I'm going to try and kind of walk you through and explain what I have going on here. This is completely finished. The inside of it is full of Duplo. The Duplo is to support all the weight of this behemoth of a top. Now, when I started working on this originally, it was much more narrow. And I had to actually increase the width of it by 12 studs on both sides in order to support the full size of my Avengers Tower. And let me show you how this actually works now. What I've done here is on either side, and this is just something to add a little bit of detail. I was trying to make it look like it had some duct work or whatever on the roof. But anyway, either side, these come off. So you can see there, that's one side, and this is the other. And then what happens is the physical base of my Avengers Tower will sit in here. And then those two pieces go back on. Just to show you, this is the base of my original Avengers Tower. The base of this building is on two 32 by 32 base plates. And then the base of the actual base of the tower is built on two 48 by 48 base plates, making it 48 by 96 for the total footprint of the building. As you all know, this building is illuminated as well. So what I've done is I've got my plugs that run out the end here that I soldered up some wire for, and then they come up into here. Now I've put some generic lighting inside of this base, and I am going to show you at the end of the video what it looks like illuminated. But I didn't get real fancy with the base because I'm in a hurry. I've got two weeks before I leave, and I just, I just wanted to get it together. So at a later date, I will make it a little fancier on the inside. But for now, I just got four lights inside it just to give it some general illumination. Anyway, the wires come up to the top. And as you can see here, my tower top, which these are the wires for that, will plug into these two wires. So that way everything will be 100% lit. Something else worth noting is that there is a lot of snot work done throughout this building. And I'm hoping it shows up well in this video, but all these tiles are obviously snot. Every one of these rows are snot built because I wanted to make sure I could maintain the certain texture that you see on the actual MetLife building. And it was very time consuming. It was very part intensive. Another thing was, is when I looked at images of the Avengers Tower physically in the movie, it looked like at this point was where they cut the top of the MetLife building off and put the Avengers Tower on top of it. And that is why you see that. Because as you can see, that is fully recessed by four studs on all sides. And it goes through the whole way, just like that. And I thought it add a really nice touch of character to the building doing it this way. Now I'm going to start by bringing the base over and setting it on the floor. And now let's get the top of this guy set on. Now that we have everything hooked up and ready to go, let's give it the lighting test to see how it looks. And there we have it, the fully illuminated Avengers Tower. Let's take a real quick up close view of all that beautiful lighting and i still got to put the quinjet back on the landing platform because it is lighted as well but man am i happy about how this thing has turned out it just looks absolutely amazing and now since i actually have it down on the ground where i can see everything up close and personal for a change i want to explain a few things this floor right here is the scene what it is the creation of vision and that is exactly what's going on in there that was when thor slammed his hammer down and drove the lightning into vision and he was created now all the floors don't have something that's super detrimental to them for example this floor is just a stairwell that's walking us up to tony stark's personal arsenal room and then over here we have the incredible hulk's room because he's living with tony stark then we have a small laboratory back on the back here. This floor here was a little private partying room for Tony Stark. This is kind of like a rest area for before they go on missions and such. 
and right below that is the headquarters for S.H.I.E.L.D. or the Avengers, however you want to look at it, but uh, that is what that is. That was Mission Control, and then right here, I need to get the minifigs placed inside, but this particular floor was supposed to be the scene where everybody was trying to pick up Thor's hammer. And that is what is going to be happening right on this table right there. This is also the floor that has the glass going the other way. And just to show you, there is snot brick going on on the bottom of this to add another level of detail to this particular building. Going to the next floor below that, we have the puny god scene with the Incredible Hulk. This, once I get all of the minifigs placed in, this is the scene where Tony Stark first meets the Black Widow. And in the distance, in that particular gymnasium, you could see a swimming pool. And that's what's going on there, is a little swimming pool in the back room. This floor here is Tony Stark's Hall of Armor. We have a bunch of different Iron Man suits in there. And Tony Stark at the controls working on something with Jarvis. As you can see, this entire floor all the way back is all nothing but his workshop. Now this next floor is the creation of Captain America. And I'm trying to slowly go through this. There is supposed to be many figs in here and I do not have them placed yet. But back in the back, what I did, to get to the room that they created Captain America in, they had to go through a little library and a secret passage. And there was a little old lady that was inside of there with a machine gun protecting everybody. And that is what that is there. And then this is the power control room for all the power that they needed to be able to create Captain America. So just a very small bit of detail there. Now down here, we have all the Avengers in a meeting with S.H.I.E.L.D. And then the level below this, we have just two small basic offices back in here. And part of the reason that I did that, because I felt with such a tall building, it should have some sort of business floor. And I think I'm going to change this out at some time, but either way, you can see there's a whole bunch of cubicles with people in there working. The final floor is Tony Stark announcing that he is Iron Man at a big party, and that is what that is. Now, on the top, again, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, these were just decorative bits that I put to put the build on top of the building to make it look a little bit more unique. And I'm trying to show you that my connection worked very well. And again, these are just setting in place. Everything's tiled in, so you can see it just easily removes. And the only reason that that is there is simply to hide the holes. And the reason that I had to make these is because, as you saw when I was moving the building, I have to have a place where my hand goes to set the building inside of the tray. And then I can place these on after. Because if I didn't have that, there would be no way for me to be able to place this building on top of this base. And then lastly, we have the base. And like I said, it's just some basic lights. And if you like to see awesome Lego creations like this and want to see more, don't forget to check out this playlist here.